All right, what's going on, everybody? I want to welcome you back to another Real Talk as we give our Heavenly Father all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title says, Your best man may reject, but the most I won't. Your best man may reject, but the most I won't. This is a video that responds back to Tara 01. And I want to do this video here. Uh, for all the singers, I, I guess I could say it like this. If I had to come up with a, a, a subtitle, it would be, I take the singers that you sent home. The singers that you sent home. Um, they have had so many shows. And once again, I'm going to say this off top. This is, top of it, uh, this is the type of video I'm going to give you my opinion. And I said the same thing when Sunday Best came out. So to all the singers around the world who have been sent home because you didn't meet man's standards, woman's standards, mankind's standards, let me say, this is an encouragement for you. And um, it's, it's, it's amazing how so many people want to be a star. Now let me say it like this. You got people that's very anointed. Then you got people that's very talented and anointed. And then you got people that's just talented, gifted, have the wrong heart, wrong attitude, hard to work with. And then some, they just awesome to work with but at the same time everybody does not have the gift of singing some people um, they, they really want to sing and they just don't have it and then you got people that just flow with it so it's just according to who you are but what I want to talk about in this video um, I can't think of the name of the show, um, but I know Pharrell Uncle, he's the bishop, and they call it um, something like building a choir with different races, you know, people, different backgrounds, everybody coming together to form this big choir. And this is what I really want to, I want to tell you, and I hope you listen and hear me real clear in this video. When you are being judged on how you sing, especially in the daytime, let me use the word perform, it's got to meet their standards. Now, when you got two or three different judges, you're going to always have different opinions. But they're going to go off of what they feel and what they see, especially when you're talking about gospel. When you audition, they looking for certain things, right? When you audition, they want you to move them. They want you to make them pretty much stand on their feet and, and fear you. Problem with that is, everybody don't sing the same way. Because in our race of people, they want you to give it to them. Come on, man, get grimy with me. Let me let me feel it, move me. And you can be doing your best. And them judges will still say, I just, it, it wasn't enough for me. But catch that, it wasn't enough for them. Me, as they say. My point is, you can do your best, and they still will reject you and send you home. But my question is, my question to you was, was your, was your best for them or was your best for the most high? When Sign the Best came out, um, to me, they sent home a lot of wrong. A long, uh, let me say that. They sent home the wrong people. 
the people that were sent home, just like this show I'm talking about, I could make a choir off of the one they sent home. And I wouldn't judge them like what they do on these shows. And I, I mean this with no disrespect. When you when you sit in front of somebody and they're gonna judge you, once again, a lot of times what that does, it discourages people when they send them home. Just like one brother said on this show, um, he don't even want to sing no more. Then the, then the other brother, um, I can't think his name, who packed up and moved back just to try to full time sing, and they giving him such a hard time. And when I'm 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 in here, I'm in here listening to the dude like <laughs> he could be the vocal coach. His heart right, his spirit right. He got a range out this world. But like I say, when you auditioning and you got the judges, you can give it your best. They gonna still be like, I just man, I don't know. He got to give me more. You more. I'm so I'm so glad that the Heavenly Father looks at the heart. There was a brother, uh, I think his name was Michael Pugh, uh, very anointed. He was he was one of the ones that got sent home. Um, I believe that was on Sunday's best. And I said, ain't no way. And then they picked the one that wasn't even all that anointed like he was. But see, when you get sent home, that should be a lesson in that also. Now, the lesson I know most of y'all are going to say is, I got to go home and get better. I got to get better. I didn't meet. I didn't meet their qualifications. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't strong enough. Once again, that's for man's way. Oh, but Yahweh. See, my sister, I got a, my, my sister Jennifer on here. Let me just use you for an example. We use the term white people, okay? When I hear her sing and play, it's beautiful. It's awesome. It's wonderful. But then somebody else in my race may say, she she just she don't have that soul sound. Or, or she too country. Or, it's just and I'm just using it for an example, so Jennifer. Ain't nothing wrong with what you're doing. She she just mm. see black people are always looking for that, mm, that that because we are moved off of emotions. But let me tell you something. I've heard so much talent in all different races that it's just it's awesome. But see, we've always been taught, man, you gotta have that soul, bro. That that gospel feel, that that that, that everybody don't have that. And then you gotta ask yourself, did God put the did the most high put that label on that? See, I explained to y'all where gospel really came from, that old video. How it wind up being gospel. What is gospel? Who made it that? Why is it why we got all these different categories now? But then when you look at Yahweh, who came up with it? Now what they call contemporary gospel and so many things, you can't really tell the difference between that and R and B. So when you telling people they not gospel enough, they don't have that churchy feel according to who? You, what you've been taught over the years, traditions of men. See, one thing I love about this, this music thing is that the most high is the author. And the most high sees beauty in what all races are doing. Now, once again, I, I agree when they say everybody don't have the gift. I, that's, that's true. 
some people may have the ability and they just you know they, they they get mad and give up but then like i say some people are just straight blessed with it i've been dealing i've been dealing with singers um and musicians all my life and i've seen them come and go i've seen man some raw talent i've seen people that didn't go to no school you know that they just vocals just amazing i've seen preachers that didn't go to no seminary school and they preaching and teaching is just amazing then i've seen those that's, that's that went to school you know and amazing then i see those that went to school and they come out still mad and frustrated because they be like they don't teach you this in school or they don't teach you that in school you know just like I was telling y'all the other day when I did the video about uh, Moses, when 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 the Most High used Moses, when Moses said, I, "My speech is not right," you know, I was talking to a brother on the phone the other day, and he was like, "JT, I know you never went to school for the piano." Um, he said, "I went to school and spent thousands and, and got a degree, and I still can't play on the level that you on." And I said, once you learn your creativity, that's the thing I tell anybody. When you learn your style, who you are, what you are, and what you're supposed to sound like, versus always trying to be like the next person, can't nobody beat you doing you. I tell people that all the time. And I'm not, I'm not saying it bragging. And you shouldn't be intimidated. There are a lot of singers who are intimidated because the next singer can do all those runs and 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 this and that, but it's not about who's the fanciest, who's the best, who can hit the the, the best runs with their vocals, who who's the best organist, piano, the drummer, the guitar. It's about you giving the Most High your best, and you can do only what the Most High have blessed you to do, and that's why I want to encourage you. Though you may get sent home. If I had it, if I could form a choir, I would pick every last one of the ones I see and get sent home. Because, see, the thing is, they have worked hard in their life to get where they are. White, black, whatever, Chinese. And these, these brothers on here, um, they just, they're so amazing to me. Um. I can't think of their name, but I know they um they always spent before the pandemic hit. I think they even um got on the stage with BB Wines. Uh I don't know if they Korean. Some of y'all may know what I'm talking about. But them dudes can sing. And I still see bad comments. They don't have that soul. They they, they just don't these dudes can sing, they man, I mean they are on it. And they are very anointed to me. But once again, you know, everybody's not anointed. You, you got what people do nowadays. They get talented and, and anointed mixed up. When you sing and the Holy Spirit takes over you, how can you judge that? I remember before Leandra Johnson um, got famous like she is. When she walked in there with what she had on, they was already off top looking at her funny. I think they was Mary Mary. And I mean, it's out of love. They, they, the girl, where your shoes at? They, they was already looking funny at her because she came in there with only what she had left. Oh, but when she started singing. And see, you can say what you want about the sister girl. Uh, I know a lot of people say, man, she ain't annoying to you know, she a whole she is. You would see all this stuff on the internet about Leanne and John. She got all these kids, her baby daddies that you can say what you want about all that. But the girl can sing. You can't take that away from her. The world gonna always judge you from your from your past. The world gonna always bring your past up. But that girl is off the chain. She even to me sound better than a whole lot of ones that's been doing it for years, that's been famous. 
So when the Most High shows that, I like to say, shines that light and, and, and shows them true blessings on you, who can beat you being you? Who can beat you being you? If you're going to sing, be confident in your singing. Be confident in yourself. I didn't say arrogant, but be confident. Most most problem a lot of singers have that I've seen from working with is that they just don't have the confidence. They got the voice. They put in the time. They just don't have the confidence. And some of them, I just don't know what it's going to take for them to build their confidence level up. You can work with them one-on-one. -on -one, but it's like when they get beside somebody that's just got it already, they intimidated. And I know this video is going to make some of them mad. I mean, some of the people that, if they ever see this video, that the ones that send them home, I'm going to say this again boldly. I could do a whole lot with the ones that you sent home. Because there are so many people out here who are trying to get on the level, just on the level of the ones you sent home. See, you got this beginner mode. Then just like you say, intermediate, then advanced. And you should never want to discourage anybody. Just a whole lot, like I said in this video, and like I said, this is my opinion, and I'm saying this out of love. When you keep trying to meet mankind standards, a lot of times you'll never get there. And see, all this performing don't make it no better nowadays. You got more performing versus praising. You got more antics and dynamics going on versus the anointing. And that's why you, if you like me, if you if you watch these type of shows, you'll be like, so why they sent him home? Why they sent her home? But if you like the Judges, then you'd be like, I would have sent him home too. I would have show sent her home. And like I say, I ain't, I ain't talking about everybody that's at home is is um you know on that super super level, but a lot of them that they sent home, they sent home some anointed people because if you listen at them long enough, when they when they make their decision to send people home, it's going to always be the word, I think. Catch that. I don't think the white girl is going to work out because this is gospel. She a little too country. I think we should cut her loose. I don't think that, that brother right there is, I don't think the white boy is going to get it because he's just... He don't have that 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 soul. He, he can't do the runs. He can't. I think. I think. I think. I think. But what does the Most High say about what you doing? If the Most High loves it, that's all that should matter. All that should matter. Because everybody that's singing in a lot of these churches catch this. A lot of them are not anointed. And a lot of them are not singing to the most high. I told y'all this. There was a brother uh, years ago. He was very, very good. Very, very good. He had a church up in the heartbeat. People love to hear him sing. And then out of nowhere, he just sat himself down. He quit singing for years. And everybody started wanting to say, man, what's going on with you, bro? You used to tie the church up, man. I mean, you know everywhere you went, people would come, you packed the house out, man. If they knew you was coming to the Sunday program or whatever Saturday night, he said I had to get real with myself. He said, no doubt I could sing. He said, but I never could live up to what I was singing. Holy Spirit convicted me, and I've set myself down. I set myself down 
till I got my life right, till I got in order. He said I was seen on Sundays, whore around on Monday, get drunk on Tuesday, smoke dope on Wednesday, hang with the crew, do all kind of bad things, having affairs on my wife. He said, yeah, I could tear the church up, but on the inside, I was tore up. He said, God wasn't accepting my praise to him because I was willfully sinning. He said, and that's why I set myself down. It take a big person to do that and say that in front of everybody. Because real talk, that's what a lot of people do nowadays. They put on a show, but in their life, they live a lifestyle of hell. I'm not talking about everybody. So who do you, and here's the thing, and I, I got to throw this in there out of love. This is why in these, these auditions, competitions, or whatever you want to call them, building these choir, if you notice, that's why they pick more, and I mean this out of love, they pick more of the homosexuals. It's not they're not so much concerned about how the person is living. They're concerned about how they sound. Now what's wrong with that picture? And if you just have to be homosexual living the video, I mean it's out of love with no disrespect. That's why people are always emailing emailing me, JT. Why is it it seem like the homosexuals are better when they sing and they just bold with it, they blunt with it, they cold, they talented, they can play, they can sing, they can direct. I'll let you answer that question. But I'm going to hit you with this scripture. They worship me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And I want to use that scripture and use the term worship because most people don't even understand the difference between praise and worship. Worship, they go together, but worship is truly a lifestyle. Worship brings stuff to you pick up and put down. It's who you are and what you do every day. You ain't even got to sing or play to worship the Most High. Catch that. Oh yeah, praise and worship go good together. But if you truly live, I don't, I don't, I don't went somewhere else in the video, but if you truly are worshiping Yah, your life going to show it. That's why you say those God is spirit and those who worship me must do what? Worship me in spirit and in truth. See, true worship, you see true deliverance, true repentance. You can't stay the same way. So that's why I say when they be sending people home because they just didn't have it to them, there are some people that just, when they sing, it's so smooth. I mean, it's so beautiful to listen that it's just soft, it's just smooth. But then, like I say, in our race of people, they gonna say, just they didn't, they didn't put that gospel on it. They didn't take it to the next level. I was waiting on you to to take me there, and you didn't do it. I don't think you fit for this contest. That's for mankind. Now, first of all, let me say this. When have you ever read in the Bible where our Heavenly Father was all about a competition? Why am I saying this? Because that's truly what Sunday best was all about. And anytime you got to compete, it's going to make somebody show out even more. Because you're trying to beat the person that just left the stage. The one that's coming on the stage. Somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose. So it's going to make somebody really, really show out. Somebody going to win. Somebody going to get sent home. So I ask you, when you doing this, once again, who and what are you doing it for? And I, once again, by no means in this video, I'm trying to be disrespectful towards anybody. You want to do your shows, do them. You, you, J, JT don't have to look at it or, or be a part of it. You just, just, as they say, the show going to go on. Y'all want to know my opinion. This is my opinion. 
I can do more with the people that they sent home than the ones that you are really saying they the ones we gonna need to build it with. See, it's, I'm trying to close out, but it's so hard. If people would just learn, Brother P.P. Jones, to get out of man's way, let the Holy Spirit be the format. Let the Holy Spirit build the choir. Let the Holy Spirit send the preacher. Mm. Let the Holy Spirit send the revival. Let the Holy Spirit do what the Holy Spirit is already doing. And you just move self out of the way. I'll teach Holy Spirit. You will see better results. Some people call this stuff God's program, and God ain't even in it. Entertaining is in it. Showing out is in it. Arrogance is in it. Apostle Paul said, do not think higher than yourself than you all. You got people that do that. You got people that's just trying to get the glory of themselves. I'm I close with this. David in the Bible. King David, Jesse's son, was more of a worshiper than a praiser. But then David also hired, as the Bible say, skillful musicians, skillful people. Go back to the Levites. Go back to the Old Testament. You'll see what I'm talking about. Everybody, once again, does not have the same gift. Everybody don't sing the same way. And David was awesome with what he done, being a musician, skillful. Now, I'm saying this to say this. The Most High also gives gifts without repentance. People always ask me with well, JT, how can this person continue to do this and, and they living like this and it's all over the news what they're doing? It's, I hear the Father is not in any of them. That's why you have free will. You're going to either take your gift, you're going to either do right with it, or you're going to do wrong with it. And some people try to do right and wrong with it. And some people just don't care. But you know who you got to answer to. The most high. So once again, to all the ones who get sent home, remember what I'm saying in this video. You will, a lot of times, will never reach their standards. And the ones that they pick, a lot of times, is the one that's entertaining to them and the ones that move them. And just because you didn't move them in the way that the next man or the next woman moved them, they feel like you didn't fit. So they send you home. Now, some do need to get sent home because some never had any, I'm, I'm going to say this again as I write to divide this video. Some people never even just had it. They just, why are you here? I just want to try something. You know. They're not even singing. They're talking. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it balanced. You know what I'm saying. You know, but y'all know what I mean. To the ones that can really truly sing. That you sent home. Don't let that discourage you. Wherever you sing it. You let that be your best for the most high. Whether you're a part of their program or not, don't let it discourage you. I love y'all. Y'all take care. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.